let's proceed to our last ECG in special condition, which is our Brugada syndrome. A little bit on Brugada syndrome. Brugada syndrome is an ECG abnormality with a high incidence of sudden death in patients with structurally normal heart. It is due to mutation in the cardiac sodium channel gene, or we usually refer as the sodium channelopathy. And the diagnosis of Brugada syndrome will depend on a characteristic ECG finding as well as a suggestive clinical criteria. And the definitive treatment will be our implantable cardiac device, which is our ICD. So what are the diagnostic criteria for Brugada syndrome? Actually, we have at least three type of ECG in Brugada syndrome. We have type 1, we have type 2, and we have type 3. So we'll go with our type 1 Brugada ECG changes first. As you can see from the example, in the red circle, there is a cove ST segment elevation, which is more than 2 mm in more than 1 of V1 to V3 leads, followed by a negative T wave. And this particular type 1 ECG changes is often referred as Brugada sign. For the type 2 Brugada ECG, as you can see from the red circle, there is a more than 2 mm of saddleback shape ST elevation. And for Brugada type 3, it can either be the morphology of type 1, which is our cove ST segment elevation, or the morphology of type 2, which is our saddleback shape, ST elevation. However, the amplitude is less than 2 mm of ST segment elevation. So, for ease of understanding, this is the comparison of type 1 Brugada, type 2 Brugada, as well as type 3 Brugada. So, that concludes our ECG in special condition. Thank you.